Hey guys, I'm Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and hit that little bell so you get notified every time I upload. Um, and while you're it, give this video a thumbs up and watch the video in the entirety. Please and thank you. So today I'm going to be doing a new year look. I feel like getting glammed and talking to you guys what I do because I didn't really do anything for the holidays. So that's what we're doing today. All right, so let's get started. So I won't be going in detail so much of the products I'm using. I just did my best of the best 2019 products, products I'm still using in 2020, products I took with me in 2020. I'll link it in the iCards in the description box so you guys can check that out. So I'm just going to be talking to you guys, like I said, and getting glammed with you. So get glammed with me, okay? Okay. All right, so let's get these bangs out of the way. I wanted these bangs for years. I had it. I had enough of it, it's time for it to go. It's out of my system now. I'm not really going to put any foundation on my forehead anyways because the bangs cover them. We'll prime a little. So happy new year to everyone. I don't know if I said that. I probably did in my last video. So what are you guys' new year's resolutions? Do you have any? I do not have any new year's resolution. I just feel like Every year, I'm just trying to be a better version of myself. I've always just wanted to, in my mind, live what I call a balanced life. And for me, that is making time for my friends, my family, my job, church, which I've actually been going to more. I actually found a church that one of my high school best friends go to. And so I have um, the motivation and stuff because she is like, in church so i've always wanted to so i started to go to church so basically like i said i just want to unfuck my life <laughs> i find i tend to get in my own way a lot of the times i overthink and the more you think about stuff the more you find reasons as to not do it and procrastinate and things like that so this year i'm trying to just not be like that I've been listening to like Audibles. I don't know if you guys know about Audibles, but Audibles is this um, app that you download and you get to listen to books. And I've been trying to like change from within instead of just like out, just like outside. Because I feel like what's what's inside will come outside. So I've been working a lot on my mindset. Most of you guys don't know that, but I do suffer from a mental disease, <laughs> depression and anxiety. I'll get into that more later on the more I continue to do this because it's a touchy, tickly subject for, um, subject for me, but at least I can say it to this point because a lot of people just do not know that because I conceal it very well. Um, so for me, mindset is really, really big. So I've been listening to a lot of mindset books and things to just build my mind and, and my mind, like exercise my mind. Like we need to work on that, your subconscious and things like that. That's gonna, you know, Give you the motivation and the strength to the courage the persistence to continue to pursue your goals so that for me is a big thing so i did download audibles and i'm listening to books and one of the books i'm listening to is on fuck your life and that's exactly what i'm trying to do on fuck my life stop getting into my own way if you can identify with me leave a comment in the description box stop overthinking and procrastinating i am the biggest overthinker and the biggest procrastinator there is on the face of the earth i promise you trying to be a better version of myself and that's just that's just what my new year's resolution is all the time so whatever it takes for me to get there that's what i'm going to do and so far i am pretty happy as to how i'm going about with it like for example like i said i've been going to church and i'm so happy about that because i've been wanting to do it for so long like i feel like church is what is missing in my life because i do have some of the things under control but i'm just so so happy that i'm in church so happy mindset is like my number one thing is like working from within like for example my skin had a breakout i had a breakout on my skin and i know it was not the makeup and i'm like something is definitely wrong within i need to clean up my diet i need to you know take more multivitamins more things for my skin so i can see better results on the outside and which i have changed and i've been doing change my skincare i've been incorporating more biotin and collagen and stuff in my in my routine my daily routine and i'm seeing a big change on my skin so focus on working on within to see results from the outside i just feel like it's very very important you know a lot of us always just focus on how we look outside and whatever and inside we're dirty our heart is dirty we are just not clean be it in a good way or a bad way so 
take my advice and work from within and like i said list your new year's resolution if you agree with me say something in the description box if you got this far in the video so this year also i'm like changing up the way i'm doing my videos just a tad bit it's still gonna be beauty focused but i am a nail technician and i am a makeup artist like um i see clients all the time every day so check out the links in my description box how to book me and check out my work on my instagram as well the, the um link will be in my description box and book me i mean i don't want to toot my own home but i think i'm pretty damn good at what it is i do i've been doing it for years i'm good at it <laughs> i know that most people that look at me are working um people as well like you guys go to work everyone work and um beauty is such a big thing everyone still wants to look beautiful and put together at the end of the day even though you probably have a busy lifestyle or you have kids or whatever the case might be so i, I just want to like um just change up my channel just a tad bit to target people like that like me who are trying to grow a business small business owners working have kids but still want to look put together i want to make this channel more um relatable more more realistic more me like there are a lot of things that I do, like it's a system. So I want to like some, um, put that out there because some people probably don't know. Maybe I can help somebody. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't work, I'll find another way. Like I said, my mindset in 2020 is totally different. It's like before, you know, I think we all are guilty of thinking of what others might think. But people don't care about people. That is something that I'm pretty sure I... I'm pretty sure have I have proven in 2019 everyone people are just selfish everyone is just about their own agenda no one cares about you and what you're thinking and everyone's head is in their cell phones anyway no one is looking at you just do you boo do you if it doesn't work find another way we'll find another way and that's something that I've, I've, I've actually heard in one of the books that I listened to um, about um, being resilient and stuff like that is that the person with the most wins in their lives has the most losses also so it's like they might have 40 wins which is a world record 40 wins but they also have like a hundred losses and that tells you something think about it it simply means that they never stop trying they're never trying to find a new way they always keep going whether they lost or they won and that gave them the most wins but also the most losses so i know we always there and we always see everyone's success stories but we don't see all the fails like i have a lot of fails I try so much things that don't work or whatever the case is, but I am not going to quit. And that is what it is. You put in so much work and so much effort in what it is you're doing into growing a business, into investing in your craft and your art. How can you quit now? Like that for me is like motivation right there. Another thing that is motivating to me is death. Death is very motivating to me. There are so much things that I want to do and I like to write. I write shit down all the time. And in my head, it's like, I gotta do this shit before I die. So it's like, I have a time limit. <laughs> so this, it's gotta get done. So I gotta do what I gotta do to get it done. And that for me is motivation as well. Back to mindset, you know? So I am sort of just, you know, bringing my channel a little bit different. We'll see how it goes. Like I said, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. We'll find another way. So I zoomed you guys in just a tad bit. <sighs> I'm using this lovely palette that I spoke about. Tati Beauty to create my look today. I'm also focusing mostly on the memory section, but I'm gonna use a little bit of port as transition and I'm gonna throw a little bit of aura in there as well. So there we have it. It's like so much things has to be done. And if you don't have a good mindset, it's like what are we doing, you know? And we just gotta do what we gotta do because we cannot think about people. Cause like I said, no one is thinking about you. You just need to just remember that whenever you're about to do whatever it is you want to do, no one is thinking about you. Trust me. Really good to have that support team. I just feel like we all need a support team. And I do have that. I don't have a lot of friends or people I consider to be my friends, but those that I have, I know that they are my friends. They have proven their loyalty. I have proven my loyalty to them. They're always there. They're supporting me regardless of what, regardless as to my prices, whatever they're there you have an argument you have something they're there we talk about it and we move on and you know that that's my friends and also something that that um i'm taking with me for sure from 2019 is um not to sound selfish but i'm just gonna look out for who's looking out for me you know i would rather do something for a stranger than someone who claims to be my friend because if you're only you're not there for me it's like it's kind of difficult for me to want to put effort into our friendship you know what i mean 
um, I've heard it said that do not jump over, do not cross, swim across the ocean for someone who would not jump over a puddle for you, a puddle, a pool of water or whatever for you. You know what I'm trying to say? D don't do it. And trust me, don't. Because where I'm heading right now, like I said, I'm trying to grow my small business. I, I don't want it to stay small forever. So I need, you know, you need reliable people, um, honest people, good people behind you to keep pushing you and to continue supporting you. At the end of the day, everyone cannot go where you're gonna go, where you're going, and that's fine. That doesn't mean that you care for them less. It's just that sometimes you outgrow someone, your interest is different or whatever the case is. Everyone cannot go where you're going. I just feel like acceptance is like very important. Like we always think about, oh, you need to be persistent, you need to be this, you need to be that, but you need to accept shit too. And once you accept it and start, um, expecting things and whatever from people you will be fine you need to start to accept things when people accept things it makes their lives way way easier like start accepting that you and that person outgrew each other you don't hate them you're just not on the same level anymore you know things like that but i have so much big goals for 2020 and i just i can't quit i will never quit i have to do what what, it, what needs to be done to get it done like like i said I've, I'm, I've invested so much time in my arts and my craft i cannot just quit like that like what would have happened to all these years that i've that i've done it you know it would, it would be in vain so a lot of us out here we just need to get with the program accept shit and move on keep it moving and continue doing you and like i say try to be the best version of you that you can be and Stop thinking about people and I need to take my own advice too. Uh, like I said, I am. That's why I'm here talking about it. Just need to keep it moving. I just feel like everything happens for a reason and sometimes we just need to look at things from different perspectives. And if we do that, like we will see life differently. So for 2020, add acceptance and perspective into your life. I hope this lighting is fine because I swear I'm rusty as hell because I haven't sat down so long to flim. I feel so rusty doing this. Anyways, we'll see. So that's where I'm at in 2020. Mindset and vision. Trying something new with my channel. Trying to grow my small business to a big business. Like, let's look at YouTube, for example. Like, I, I don't think you guys know how much I love beauty. There are times I get so frustrated. I'm like, ah, oh, do I want to continue doing this, whatever. But I love it so much. It really brings me fulfillment. Like, this is where I'm supposed to be. I, I felt like I left it so much and I'm right back here. I'm like, okay, this is where I'm supposed to be. I have to be doing this. And I love it so much. So I hope that you guys will be there with me on my journey. And thank you so much for all the support you know this is like one year and change since i started this channel and i invested a lot of my time and money and everything in this channel and like that's what i'm saying i cannot quit what happened to the year that i put into this you know i edited videos i recorded videos this shit takes time it takes time you know um i can't i just can't stop why would i you just have to always sort of remember the reasons why you started to do something and continue to do it. Because it is going to get challenging, it is going to get hard, but just always keep to the forefront of your mind why I'm doing this and continue to do it. Let me zoom you guys out a little bit. Just all up in my pores. All up in my pores. It's better. So I really appreciate the few of you that reach out to me that look at my videos continue to look at my videos who are there for me who constantly supporting me it is not going unnoticed i really appreciate it i mean without the support like i said support is so important and without that you know what are we where are we gonna go we need each other and we need to support each other and as black women like we have so much things against us already as black women and black business women that we don't need to fight each other we need to support each other like i only see us going up if that is the way we choose to go about doing stuff just continue to support stop hating on each other it makes no sense no sense hmm, this this look turned out mighty fine what do you guys think it's definitely glam add a little glow so I hope this video was like maybe helpful to somebody share my videos like I say like comment you know subscribe 
support each other support me help me to reach the platform that i want to reach here I, I do want to reach millions one day and i'm pretty sure that i will because i genuinely love what i'm doing i don't see any way but moving up with this because i love it so like i said let me know what your new year's resolutions are and um what i said earlier was relatable let me know that as well like you know working on your inner man and not just the outside like let me know if you if anything i said resonates with you guys let's start a conversation in the comment section that's what i want i want conversations this lip combo that i'm doing right here there's some glitter on it from my finger with the shadow but this lip combo i spoke about in my my, my current video in my favorites and it's one of my most used lip combo ever like it's perfect like it can never go wrong for me and when it fades it fades to just a better version of my lips and i love it i love it so so much and there we have my glam new year look i hope you guys liked it i will leave everything in the description box all the products that i use and like i said it's in my previous video you guys could check it out but i will list those that i specifically use for this um tutorial this video this chit chat this get ready me whatever we want to call it my new year look stepping into 2020 whatever um like i said i am a nail technician and a makeup artist the links in my description the, the links would be in my description box how to book me book me check out my work all that good stuff share like those videos it really helps and i really really appreciate it thank you so so much for watching and again happy new year and let's continue to touch the wall one face at a time and i'll see you in my next video bye guys